Hello everyone. Good morning. First of all, warm welcome to OSC training by Unogeeks. In this video, we'll see how to feed a message in Twitter from Oracle Integration Cloud instance. In the previous uh, video, I've shown you how to set up a Twitter uh, connection. So to set up a Twitter connection in OIC, we, we need to have a Twitter developer account. So uh, look at the previous video and create a Twitter developer account and copy all the required API keys and access secrets required to create a con connection in OIC and set up the a Twitter connection. And once you, once you have a configured Twitter connection, you are ready to tweet a message uh, from OIC. And what are we going to do in this uh, video? We will create a REST API, which will accept a message uh, that needs to be tweeted. And the API will, and, and we are going to invoke the Twitter connection within the API, and we will tweet the message that we receive from, from the client directly from Oracle Integration Cloud instance. Okay, so let's go log into OIC instance. And if I go to connections, I can, uh, uh, yeah, you, you see that we have a Twitter connection which is in configured state at the moment. So we have uh, set this up in the previous video and we're going to use this connection to tweet a message. Let's go to integrations. And we will also need a trigger connection to uh, a trigger connection for the REST API. So let's create a new trigger connection. And we'll call it as, you know, geeks. Okay. So you need to search for REST adapter since I'm building a REST API. And let's create, let's call it, you know, geeks. Twitter trigger connection. And we will select the role as trigger and create it. Change the security policy to basic authentication, test and save the connection. We're going to use this connection to trigger the REST API. And we'll use the same connection for, uh, for, the, for tweeting a message and for retweeting a message, which we are going to cover in the next video. And in another video, I'm going to show you how to get the trending topics for a particular place, uh, uh, again, using a Twitter adapter. So in all the Twitter related integrations, we're going to use the same trigger connection. Let's go back. Okay, the trigger connection is in configured state and the actual Twitter connection is also in configured state. So we can go ahead and build the REST API. Go to integrations, create, pick up app-driven orchestration, you can call it as you know geeks tweet message rust api you can give him give a meaningful name or you can give any name you want i will put it in twitter package create it change the layout to horizontal and use the trigger, uh, trigger uh, use the Twitter trigger connection. Receive message to tweet. Okay, so we'll receive a message to tweet first. receive message from client. And tweet it. And the URI is going to have, uh, yeah, we'll configure one URI parameter to receive the message. So I'll, I'll just call it as a tweet message. Okay. And the action is get, so that's fine. I'll leave, leave it as such. And I want to send back a response. Um, I'll, I'll probably send back a tweet ID. Uh, so that, that is a sort of a confirmation to the client, yes, client that, uh, yes, my tweet has been posted. Okay, so let's click on next. You see a template parameter configured. Uh, since you have added tweet message in the URI in flower brackets, it happens automatically in OIC. Click on next. 
and change the response payload to JSON sample. Enter sample JSON. And I've given the sample JSON that you could use. You can probably copy it and paste it here. Okay, we, we want to just capture the ID uh, uh, or tweet ID and uh, the text that we have tweeted. The two parameters in the response. Click on next and done. So we are receiving an input message here, which we want to tweet. And to, to do that, we need to use the Twitter connection. So search for the Enogeek's Twitter connection. Use Enogeek's Twitter connection, not the Twitter trigger connection. Use the Twitter connection. And you can call the endpoint as a tweet message. And you've got a, a long list of operations that you could use. So you can tweet a message, you can retweet a message, and you can also get uh, the trending topics uh, about a particular place. And apart from these three, you also have a bunch of other operations that you could invoke. And, and yeah, you can, you can probably have a look at them uh, and, and explore them further. But we will see how to use tweet operation in this video. In the next video, I'll, I'll show you how to use a retweet option. And in the video after that, I'll show you how to get a trends for a particular place. Okay, so let's select the tweet operation, click on next, and click on none. And a mapper is added. So here I need to map the message that I have received as a text that needs to be key, uh, that needs to be tweeted. Edit the connection. Expand query parameters and expand the template parameters. So there is a tweet message in there. And pass this as input to the status. Pass this as status. So the status. A uh, uh, query parameter. This is where you need to map the text that you want to tweet. Okay, so map it to status, save it, validate, and close. And that's all we want to do. And uh, I want to send a response back. And in that response, so uh, so here we are mapping the message that we have received as uh, we are passing that as status to the tweet message. So the Twitter adapter will tweet the message and this will uh, bring you back a response. And uh, from that response, from the response that we receive here, I want to assign the ID and the same message that we have passed in a status. Uh, uh, I want to send those two attributes back to the calling client. So that's as a, that acts as a confirmation that yes, the message is tweeted successfully. Okay, so in the response wrapper, so I've entered a sample a response payload, right, with two attributes. You will see those two attributes here, ID, a string, and a text. And if you look at the tweet message, so you have sent in a request and that will bring you back a response. And if you look at the response, you will have ID available in there. Expand it. And you see that you have an ID string. Map it. And you have a you have text as well, map it to the text. So all, all I'm trying to do is send in a tweet ID and the message back to the client. Close. And I will enable tracking. Select tweet message as a tracking identifier. Save it. We'll activate the API and test it out and test it. API is in configure state at the moment. Activate it. Enable tracing, include payload, and activate the API. And test the API now. So we if we invoke this API with a message, the message that you're passing in here should be tweeted in the Yogi's Twitter account. And let's see if this happens or not. This is a message. 
created from OIC. Okay, let's go ahead and test it. And you see that we have caught back an ID string, which is a sort of a confirmation that yes, the message is tweeted, uh, tweeted successfully and you see the whole flow completed normal. And if you want to uh, see the Twitter, uh, see the message that is posted in Twitter, let me go to the twitter.com. And if you go to my profile, scroll down, you could see the message tweeted. You could see that uh, this is a message tweeted from OIC, which is exactly the same message that we have passed in. And it has also brought you back this ID stream. So let's copy this ID. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to retweet this message with the help of this ID string. Okay, so let me save this. I will save it to a text pad and so that we can use the same ID in the next video. Okay. So this is how you tweet a message uh, in Twitter from OIC guys. So all you need to do is uh, configure a Twitter connection successfully and then invoke a Twitter adapter with a message that you want to a tweet or a status. Okay, so in the next video, I'll show you how to retweet a message. And to retweet a message, you need to pass in a message uh, of a tweet ID of the message that you want to retweet. And we're going to use the ID, this ID that got generated now for the message that we have tweeted. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle integration cloud training offered by Uno Geeks, you can call us on this number 7396033355, or you can send a WhatsApp message as well. Okay. Do check out our website for the training course content. Thank you.